Hi everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like this look, um, I did just have a live stream of doing this uh, makeup tutorial, episode number two. I'm starting a series and uh, since I'm on a on a high <laughs> of live streaming, I'm like, I'm hungry, let's live stream making a pizza. And this is basic, basic pizza. So uh, you can do this quickly at home. Well, this is done at home. You can do this quickly yourself and you can do this. Thank you so much for signing in and thank you for the like. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment down below. I look forward to hearing from you and reading them. I do enjoy it. So um, this pizza that I make is so simple and so delicious. I love it and I make it rather frequently. We do have frozen pizza. We can have delivery. Hi, baby! <laughs> Welcome! Um, I opened up my, so my dough, it's not pizza dough, it's not a uh, pita, it is tandoori naan. And I buy this at Costco and I love it. I've alternated between getting the garlic one and getting the regular. And this is to die for it smells so good i opened it up this thing is broken you can't like unzip it properly so anyway so i opened it just to make sure with scissors to make sure i don't delay uh so my ingredients for today are good old naan my favorite because i'm not a big fan of i like tomatoes we have <laughs> mess right uh yeah that can stay there. <laughs> so we have tomatoes. I do like tomatoes. Uh, I went to Costco Thursday and I got some tomatoes for myself. Uh, this is what's left of them. Yay. Hi. Thank you for joining. So I do love tomatoes. However, not as a pizza sauce. I'm not a fan of tomato pastes, um, tomato sauces. And so once I saw that the pizza, local pizza in town had uh, this sauce as an option. I only found out because I was online searching. Hi, thank you so much for joining. And I had this because I, I like it. I love it. So this is another uh, not sponsored. This video, this live stream is not sponsored. I'm just showing you what I use uh, that I enjoy. So you can use whatever paste you like. Thank you. It's so spicy. I am like, I can't handle spice, but I love love this so i use it uh very subtly on it so our first ingredient is a base second ingredients well one of the <laughs> toppings that i got carried away telling you i do like tomatoes uh stella writes that's thai sauce a great choice for base and we use that one for one of our pizzas at work oh yeah good 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 it's so delicious but again spicy so if you can handle spice take it do it uh, the other thing that I buy is whenever something's on sale or uh, or just to have it, this is almost a staple in the house, I even freeze them, is shredded cheese. And the price of these is, here in Canada, it's reasonable, so I don't buy cheese blocks and scrape, uh, shred them. <laughs> I just buy the whole cheese and even freeze them. So we got some cheese here. I ran out of lactose free, I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, so I'm using this one, which is the proper one, right? So Stella writes, Thai base mozzarella cheese bacon. Ooh, we have bacon, but I'm doing a simple one today. But yeah, we have bacon. Feta. What else did you write? Chicken red onion. So mine today is a good old pepperoni and tomatoes and cheese. We could also use uh, mushrooms, we can use peppers, uh, yes, onions. Uh, possibilities are endless, but for my pizza, and I'm the only one eating this today, uh, I do one at a time because it's so quick. I don't need to make two and like heat them both up and save for later, so there's one. So sometimes I, mm, mm, mm. guys, get this. The garlic flavored one it's delicious and here are the herbs that i did not need to put on myself <laughs> sometimes i put the uh condiments the ingredients up on top and sometimes i do it on the bottom i like the bo um bottom yeah this is the bottom i like it on this because it's flat uh but when you're taking this out of the pan uh with some spatula or something it's difficult to pull out so you may want to do it on this side i'll do it on this side today 
And what I'm doing it, well, what I'm gonna do here is, I didn't think this too much through. I'll chop the tomatoes first, and then I will chop the tomatoes. I'll, uh, these soft tomatoes are gonna be thick, and that's a-okay because it's healthy. If you wanna skip out and just do pepperoni, you can do that. It's whatever you like, whatever you're, the person that you're making this for is gonna like, and very simple. You can cut this for the kids yourselves if you're going to do that. Uh, so, Stella writes, that's the beauty of pizza. Ugh. That's the beauty of pizza. The possibilities are endless, like you said. So just open the fridge and use the ingredients you have. So fun. Exactly. And again, this smells so delicious. My two added favorite, super favorite things are uh, the pizza dough, garlic, and the Thai sauce. This is what just puts it all together and makes it to die for, for me. Uh, you guys can do whatever flavor you want and and uh, and you can just be creative at home. If you wanna try like some spicy sauce, if you wanna skip the sauce, add different cheeses, you can go ahead and do that. I actually, the one that I made two days ago, cause two days, three days ago, this is my third one this week <laughs> that I'm making. Because I took like a week off or two weeks off from making this pizza. When I did it, I was excited to have the cheese and I started putting the cheese down. And then I remembered I forgot to put the sauce. So I put, I put the cheese and then the sauce on top. And it tasted so good. So this is actually a little, oh you guys, sorry I can't see. This is actually a lot of sauce for me. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm not big on sauce, I don't know didn't grow up on that. If you hear my doggy barking, that's that's my doggy barking. She's outside and uh, my fiance is going to bring her in. Let me see what was said on the chat that I missed. No, I didn't, but I'm just getting it popping up. I don't know. Okay, so I can use a fork, a spoon, a knife, whatever to uh, flatten this down. So I'm just going to, my doggy's coming over. And she's not on screen. Okay. She's a shorty. And I can't pick it up because she's... Because uh, I'm touching food. And I was contemplating on showing off my cats at the start of the video. But I'm like, uh, no, it's not so hygienic. <laughs> so let's skip it. I try to kind of go also to the edges. But it's as you like it, right? It's your custom made pizza. So here's my start of my sauce. That's done. We're talking longer, uh, so it's taking longer than it would typically. But it is all for fun, right? It's not we're not on a on a speed limit because what else do we have to do just to eat it? <laughs> so here's my cheese, and I don't do a lot of this either because I'm lactose intolerant and I have to take pills. So my personal preference is not going nuts on the cheese. Feel free to use as much as you like, and you can make you know more than one too. These are so filling. I call these kind of like personal style size pizzas. I'll have this and I'll have salad um, or maybe I'll have some uh, fruit after. So it's just like this is the base. This is my entree with uh, some added stuff I can do later if I so choose. Oh God, he's here. I have a little bit of cheese. I'm going to just give it to her. And that's that. Next, what I do for me is I put my pepperoni. Oh, and I forgot. I need to set the alarm. Alarm set the broiler toaster oven on and she's actually great 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 so, okay so i was gonna tell you she's great because she's learning to not bark when this thing goes off so we've been practicing tremendously and she was so good um she might also start barking no 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 stop i'm sorry guys um, so the oven or toaster oven, conventional oven, excuse me, convection oven, what you would turn on, I put it at 375. I don't need it so hot. It is a thin pizza. Um, we don't need to overcook it because they are, it's healthy, right? Um, to have fresher vegetables. So if you're using the peppers, they are thick and they do take a long time to heat up. You can do as many, um, as many, what are these, pepperonis as you like or as little? I'm having so much fun. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. What I do, throw this out. <laughs> and 
then I add this last one on and I stick my tomatoes in between. And uh, sometimes we add more um, pizza sauce on top, sorry, more cheese on top. But these cute little guys, I like them. And they can be thick and we're all okay with that. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. That's the pizza. <laughs> This is the pretty pizza that has been made and how long did that take? Taking out the ingredients, doing the chopping, this is what takes more time. But so here's the lovely pizza, fresh, and this is what mine looks like. Mine's custom for me and of course you will have a different one. I will put the ingredients. Uh, that I've used and for how long I put it in the oven. I do it in the oven for up to 12 minutes if I'm making like three. No, no. Stop. Almond. She's being a bad girl because she wanted to go outside today. And she's been outside like most of the day. Um, and we've been entertaining her and it's like, no, I still need the front door. I'm having spring fever. Right, poopy pants? Poopy pants! Here's here's the baby girl, Miss Desperate. She's just like front door, front door, and I stopped taking her out the front door um, a week ago. Gotta run, Stella says. I'm so sorry, I hate I'm going to miss this. Looks so good. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so now it is Eastern time, so it's 4.55. So I think 5.05, I'll turn it on, and I can keep talking here. Um, I can show you the finished product in the video uh, thumbnail because I'll be updating the thumbnail to show this. Uh, so I think that's what we will do because right now um, it's already been 12 minutes. I've been chatting up a storm. I want to show to, that this is a quick process. And uh, again, I hope you enjoy this. If you do uh, take uh, pictures of what you make, if you do make this, or if you have other ways that you make it, I would love to hear it. Before this came around, I'll tell you, <laughs> before this came around, before I started using this method, I was using the dough from the store, the ready-made food, and the sauces. It was so yummy. But um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're getting some good food to eat at home and you are staying home, okay? So again, feel free to comment down below, watch my other videos, as well as this lovely <laughs> face makeup that I had done out of myself earlier today. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.